Okay, I'll do my best to narrate. We finally made it to Cascade Caverns Park. And you're greeted by this big, huge dinosaur that I think was involved in a movie at this place at one time. It is a campgrounds, and this is where the uh, restrooms are for the campers and for the visitors. And here's the uh, gift shop and where you buy your tickets. Just kind of a little, oh, yes, it is a, uh, like a Texas landmark, historical landmark. Here's the little panorama of uh, the camping grounds and uh, we'll head on into the uh, gift shop here. They had a lot of literature of other caves to visit in Texas. Of course, you know, they're gonna sell rocks, right? Just another little view of their gift shop. And of course, you can always buy t-shirts. Okay, I'm gonna be up front with you. I've been here before. Uh, my photos that you're gonna see are bad. But uh, the first few are from a previous visit. And it's due to poor lighting. First time I came out here, the lighting was good. And now you're gonna see a change. Well, coming up. Well, we'll just, I guess we'll begin this tour with the hole in the ground. And they had to use this bucket a long time ago to drop people down. And then um, they couldn't do that anymore. So there's a nice little, you know, nature trail that leads up to the opening. And here's the opening. And once we're down, we're looking up. And this is where we all had to pull out flashlights that we were given to take pictures and figure ourselves where we're at, right? So to get a good shot, everyone had to shine their flashlights on the formations. So it was kind of like a uh, wild cave tour. And here we're looking for some kind of uh, albino newt. So um, my photos weren't that great, but this is some from their website. Another one where you're in looking up from the entrance. And the lighting's a lot better. This is how I remembered it. Almost reminds me of a brain. A lot more light makes a big difference. This is the ceiling. This looks like some kind of, um, I don't know, plant life maybe. But they did have some cool formations. And here's the end. So the big thing with this cave was a waterfall at the end, which I'll show you in a, hopefully soon here. Yeah, here it is. Look closely, that's it. That's what we came here to see. So I wanna give these guys a break. I mean, maybe they couldn't turn on the lights. Well, I hope you enjoyed the cave tour. I was expecting a little bit more, to be honest with you. Uh, when I start doing all the edits and stuff, I'm gonna talk a, more about it in depth. Uh, so, we're still out here in the hill country. Uh, maybe we can do one more day, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try to take Highway 46 around uh, San Antonio and uh, see what we can see. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. We have another mini unbagging to do. I bet you can guess what's inside here, right? You guess another refrigerator magnet, then you win.
Let's get on the road. I finally made it to New Braunfels, Texas and to the New Braunfels Smokehouse. So uh, from looking around, it looks like a decent place to eat, but I was looking for some more beef jerky, right? But first I had to uh, take care of my stomach and that was one heck of a barbecue sandwich. I really did enjoy that. Well guys, as you can see, I found another uh, meat market. It's the uh, New Braunfels Smokehouse and of course, I, uh, it's not just a smokehouse or a meat market, it's uh, also a restaurant. So, since I didn't have lunch, and you know, I just kind of snacked here and there, uh, went ahead and had like a chopped beef sandwich and, and uh, oh, coleslaw, tea, and whatever. And uh, of course, I do have a mini unbagging because I did find some beef jerky. Oh boy, I am loaded with beef jerky. So anyway, it's time. It's getting late, really late now. Um, let's see if we can find a cave to hide in for tonight. Well, okay guys, I'm worn out. It's been a long day. Uh, that hike up that rock, Enchanted Rock, really uh, took a toll on me. And then of course, uh, missed out on some more fishing on uh, Lake uh, Bernie. And uh, uh, some face, uh, a Facebook friend told me a good spot to go that was nearby, but all that wind and all the waves were just blowing on me. When I was trying to cast, <laughs> it was so windy, the, uh, um, the bait would fly back into me and uh, caused, causing me a lot of problems. Then the rain started back up again. So uh, I had to move on and I thought about this cave. I was a little disappointed. I've been to it a long, long time ago, but like I said, I was a little disappointed and I'm going to talk about that more uh, when I start editing everything. Uh, then after that we uh, headed on down to New Braunfels and um, we found, well, dinner, number one at the New Braunfels Smokehouse and plus more beach. So that's pretty much a recap and tomorrow uh, I'm just going to wake up and um, try to grab some breakfast and head on home but before I do that I got some relatives in San Antonio that I'm going to visit and then head home from there. So guys, until next time, be safe out there and take care. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.